Women's Day, International <laughs> Women's Day. Oh my goodness. I'm going to stop you. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go here. Hello, hello. Hello, how are you, Christina? International Women's Day. Yes, it is. It's our day. It's an amazing day. How to optimize all your gifts and talents. This is what I want to ask you today. What are you doing? Women are the salt of the earth. Where there is no salt, there is no flavor. We keep the world spinning on its axis. Yes, we do. That's what we do. We are independent much more independent than our mothers and grandmothers ever were. Women are just so amazing now. We still have a long way to go. We are still only chipping away at the glass ceiling slowly. Some of us get the chance to even reach to the top to view the glass ceiling. Yes, some of us get there. Yet, we are unable to get there because of all the obstacles in our way. That is what happens. We were told we had to be good girls and to be happy to find a man to marry us. That's what we were told. Then we picked up our long and heavy skirts and petticoats, made two pairs of trousers and a masculine vest from them. We got dressed. We decided we no longer wanted to stay home and cook and clean, so we went to work. We went out to work so we could choose the things we wanted for ourselves. This is what we did. We insisted that our daughters were given a chance to vote. We chose that for them. We have a voice to have a voice. We have a voice to excel in math, science, architecture, construction, to working at NASA and to becoming astronauts. That's what we did for them. We did all we could. Now we are at the point where we are not accepting the scraps that are thrown at us. We are lean, earning more, but not enough. We are not earning enough. There are not many of us in the boardrooms of the world. We squeeze, we squeeze through the doors. We open the doors. Some of us were so bold, we took off the hinges and we pushed ourselves through and sticking. Yet it is still not enough. The traditional careers for us does not suit us and our daughters anymore. And it certainly does not suit our granddaughters. They don't want any part of the traditional careers. We are encouraging our daughters to be hockey coach, and basketball and football teams, soccer teams. We're opening their minds to change from traditional to non-traditional rules. That's what we're doing for our girls. Our position on this never-ending journey is to continue to inspire young women not to settle, to accelerate when possible, to enlighten other young women or older women to believe in themselves and have faith and to change their roots and to find new and innovative ways to get ahead, to be persistent. We must honor other women and not hold them back by telling them they will learn the hard way. Why? Just because we learn the hard way, that is dumb. As women, we are to show other women what we did to get where we are. We are to include them when we see them standing on the sideline, not knowing where to go. We need to give them a chance. We need to tell them, come on, I can show you. We must show them the path we took to bring us to the spot where we are. When we sit in the boardrooms, we must be effective. We, while teaching other women how to lean in and never give up, we have to teach that to our daughters, no matter how tiny they are. We as women must realize that there is enough for another woman to sit in that very same boardroom with you, don't lock her out. We are the ones who should make room at the table for another woman to come in. We are the ones who should show them how, who should pull up the chair and offer that woman to sit. That woman, tell her to sit and that, tell her join. There's another, there's enough room, there's another corner you can squeeze her in. The question to you on this International Mother's Day is, how are you optimizing yourself to assist another woman to be the best that she possibly can? Is there one woman you can think of that you can help advance to the next step of the ladder to the glass ceiling? Do you know someone you can do that for? Have you taken a young woman intern under your wings and helped her develop 
polish and refine her skills, preparing her for success in her career, preparing her to get into that boardroom and to push that door open. International Women's Day is one day out of 365. Can we change it to be every day? To enhance, raise, and upgrade another woman on any given day of the year, whenever the occasion comes up. We don't know what to do. We have been there. Some of us had to get the suit. I wore it tonight to show you. You had to get the power suit and you had to put it on. You had to stand up and you had to have something that made you stick out. You had to choose to fight the war. You had to sit the exam and you had to excel. And you really had to excel. But that shouldn't be why you don't try. Excel, study, and don't say, because I'm a woman, I need a sport. Say, in spite of me being a woman, I found my sport. That's what you have to do. You need to stand up. We need to teach those that are coming behind us how to stay on top, how to be on point. You cannot went, want to go into the boardroom and you come in wearing slickers. They won't let you in. Even when you are properly dressed, you have a hard time getting in. It's not that you care. The point is you want to get in. And you have to do what you need to do to get in there. Because once you get in there, you can spread your shoulders and lean in. Don't sit at the corner. We sit that is open, closer to the head of the table, and that's where you go. When he breathes or she breathes, she must seize you. When they turn to the right, it's female. Turn to the left, make them know you are there. Don't be timid, prepare yourself. Fight for your right, choose what you want to be and don't let anybody tell you no, you can't. Because you know you can. International Women's Day is not sitting back and expecting somebody somewhere to come and give you that chance. It is you, if you have to do it, you do it. Nobody is going to lift you up and when you, are sitting at the top and another woman is trying to get there, don't remind her of your struggles. Don't do that for her. Make sure she does not have those struggles and then teach her to prevent other women from having these struggles. Your job is to continually enhance them. We already know we have to pass the men of the boardroom. Me telling you about it is redundant. I can tell you what I saw being one of them in the boardroom, one of them sitting there, one of them looking at you when you open your mouth, one of them that they stare down, hoping by their looking at you, they're going to make you stumble. But you need to be strong and you need to be prepared. International Women's Day, Day is not for weakness, it's to prepare yourself Find out what you need to do. When you get there and you open that mouth of yours, make sure what comes out is relevant to what's going on. Study them, observe them. You don't have to scream and you don't at all have to behave badly. You don't have to be abused and you don't let them abuse you. But when you see the opportunity for you to step in, step in, step in. And then when you step in, lean in. When they are talking, you look at them, not, not away from them. You don't smile, a cutesy smile. Study them. Open your eyeballs. That's why you have them for. So International Women's Day is coming to you from a woman who had to push her own buttons. Nobody was going to push the button for me. Nobody was going to help me to get it. I had a goal. I had a purpose. I worked with a purpose and I just pushed. I insisted, I pushed. They told me, A, I said, what about B? I looked at it, if I had a thought, I spread my thought. I made sure I went and I found somebody else that had the same feelings about a project as I did. I did my homework and I would, I would reference them. I said, oh, so that's how you feel, that's how you think? So when they stand up and they give it, I say, I agree with John. And John sometimes will be very shocked. You do. But the minute I said that, all the attention turned to me. Why, Tess Marie? Why, did you, why do you think that John's idea is so good? I was prepared. 
I was so prepared. I knew exactly how many of them were going to be at that table. And I had a reason written down why I thought that John's idea was good. Because you see, John was a little bit showy. And John decided he was going to tell me all his ideas. Just like John would have done to some other man, I did it to John. I said, took John's ideas and I worked it. And I, I agreed and they agreed that John and I should co-pilot <laughs> the project. And I just took it over. And John enjoyed it because innately, you see, John was lazy. He had an idea, but innately, he, he decided being male, he would get it. And at the end of the day, I just slowly and silently pushed him out of the way. I had a plan. It's not mean. That's what they do to all of us women. They purposely push us out of the way. Long ago, they would tell us, well, anytime now you might quit to go have a baby. But now they dare not see that. So they will try and say, you, you were sick last month for two days. And that's what they'll use at us. So we also have to know when they were sick. So when they throw it at you, you have to throw it. At you. But you were sick for 10 days last month. You have to know your business. International Women's Day is a day for us to acknowledge it. But we must do the work to succeed. Nobody, is no, no other woman or man is going to help us. We are better than our parents were. Our, our moms and grandmoms were, but we're not, still not good enough. Our daughters still will have to throw an axe and make sure it, get, it hit bullseye. Where a man will throw it and it will get on the side and they'll go, good job. You know, but that is not what it is. Then we need to sharpen that bloody axe and throw it where it's supposed to go. Because then we need to work at it. That is why your career or what you choose to be, whether you're an entrepreneur or not, or you're working for yourself, or you're working for a company, you still have to stand on your own two feet. Nobody's going to help you. More so if you're a woman in business. You're going to hear no, and no, and no, and you don't have the backbone, you don't have the brain. Do what you have to do. Practice in front of a mirror. What you do at home to strengthen you does not matter. You don't have to tell anybody that I practice for 10 days an hour every day. But all of that will make you better than 10 days ago. And you need what you want. So if you know you have to get it, you have to put it out there so you can get it. And this is what you need to do. International Women's Day is not only to fight for your seat at the table. International Women's Day, as I said to you, is to make room at the table for another woman, to share the spot with her. To, to push your chair in a little bit further and make room for her and then push her next to you. International Women's Day is not to turn your back and say to a woman, I had to try by myself, you will figure it out. That is not how you help another woman. You tell her, it was tough, but this is what I did. Don't tell her because it was tough for you that no, she will have to figure it out. You had a hard time, so you said to her, well, I had a hard time. You better have, you want to have a hard time too. That is not the point. Women must learn to support women when we are in power. When we break or crack the glass ceiling and we get into, the, into that tower and all our body is cut from glass, that doesn't mean we need to let the girl come in behind you, get cut with grass too. Show her the main door. Tell her how to get through the main door. That is what International Women's Day is. It's not only international for us to get money. I don't look at it like that. International Women's Day is for every woman to make sure she makes room at the table when she gets there to make sure another woman is sitting in the table with her. She's not your competitor. There is enough at that table to go around. Men go out and help men. They don't see them as competitors all the time. They will strip there. There will be an old boys club. We don't even have an old bag club. You know, we just keep killing each other. I know what it's like. And I, you have to study these people. You have to let them in. You have to open the door. You have to encourage. A, you have a daughter and somebody's telling her you need to be a nurse. Tell her, well, why can't you not be the doctor? 
you have a daughter coming up and they're saying, well, you can be an assistant. I know I want her to be, she wants to be an engineer. She wants to work for NASA and she will not have to be hidden like the women that were hidden, called the hidden figures, where they were the brightest of women, but they couldn't show their face because they were a woman. We have to start the journey at home. You cannot get your daughter to think standing in front of the mirror is enough. It is not enough. You need to have brain. You need to work that 50 ounces of matter you have in your head, of gray matter you have in your head. You have to show her how to, no, math is not difficult. Math is fun. Don't tell her science is hard. Science is something that will put you further. Science will take you where only brilliant people will go. Science will cause you to have more money. Science will put you in demand. Make her understand that. Don't let her be satisfied with the simple things. Give her a second language. Give her two second language. The point is it, give your daughters the edge. Every edge you can give them, give it to them. That is what you have to do. Children need to know they have an edge. And that's what we do with women. So it's not only sudden we're not making enough money, but we must be prepared to make sure we don't realize that there is no room in this boardroom for another woman. That was what I always found that was hard. Some of the women in the boardrooms, when I entered and other women entered, they didn't even talk to you. The men might talk to you, but your woman, another female that's been sitting in the boardroom for two years, would not talk to me. She was afraid. She was afraid I would take her spot. She was afraid I would suck up more air than she would. You know, and that is what they do. But you cannot allow that. Whether you're going for business or not, you're a woman entrepreneur. Make sure when you go for your appointment, you're prepared if you're facing a woman. She's going to take it through with a fine tooth comb. She'll look at every dot. She wants to have every I dotted and every T crossed and every M looking like an M, not almost like an M. So this is what I want you to know. It's nice. When everybody's saying, give us more money, yes, but we, that is not enough. More money and no spot at the table is not enough. We need to have a spot at the table. We need to be pushy. We need to lean in. We need to do it with dignity and with class. We need to, sometimes we have to reserve and sometimes we just have to say, no, not today. And then sometimes we have to walk away and come back better equipped to take on the battle of life in the corporate world. Whether you are opening your business or you are climbing the ladder in the boardroom. It's not easy, but it is attainable. And there is help. Don't be afraid to call a woman who you know who has done it and ask her for her to be mentored by, for her to mentor you. Don't be afraid to do that. Don't be afraid to knock on the door and say, can you help me? This is what I offer. I say, I did it. I fought the battle. I won the war. I was satisfied with what I did. I had a plan. I had a goal and I achieved them all. And that is what I'm offering. When you are stuck, give me a call. I'll tell you. Tell me to look at something you're working on. I'll tell you. Or if I cannot tell you, I will phone someone who knows the answer and ask them to help you. And that is what women have to do. We need to leave the rope hanging from our waist so other women may follow us and be successful. So send in your light and joy on this wonderful evening. I hope my message didn't kill your International Women's Day. So Donato, of course, that's because of all the leadership in the company's scarcity mindset. That is true. Um, they, they don't, you know, they don't allow you to try because they think, especially they think it's not enough. There is not enough to go around when there is always more than enough to go around. And that is what people don't understand. Um, some people look at companies they work for, like they own them, and they wouldn't let you come back. They wouldn't let you come in because they think if you come in, you'll take what they are planning to have. 
but they sometimes they don't know that they are just a cog in the wheel to your success. And all you want to do is to get over them, is to pass above them, is to squeeze them out of the way. And don't let people hold you back. Never let anybody hold you back. So tonight, I hope you had a wonderful chat with me. <laughs> we didn't chat too much tonight. I was just talking. So anyway, thank you so much. And I hope you enjoy this. So Donato and Rosie and Yoko and hi, Debbie. I am almost done. And Debbie showed up. Debbie, you would have loved it. You can check it out on Instagram. Um, and who else was there? Um, Nikki. It was another Nikki. I forgot her name. So anyway, ladies, thank you for coming. And gentlemen, thank you, Donato, for your help and putting, the, putting some nice comments on for me. So I'm looking forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. And we'll see what we can do tomorrow morning and then tomorrow night. But International Women's Day was a, a big thing for me um, because we can always push a little and get something going. Yes, Deb, check it on IG. I'm going to post it in a few seconds. So talk to you guys later and have a wonderful evening, everyone. Bye-bye.